All right, let's watch this video. The insane rise of VTubers and why I hate them. Real has many definitions, but if I were to pick one right now, I would say behaving or presenting in a way that feels true, mm. honest, or familiar without pretension or affection. Mm. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Oh! Ice cream. <laughs> Wait! Wait! This is not fair! This is not an accurate representation of the VTube community. There is a spectrum in the VTube community. Yes, you have mother that put on like an act, but you also got real motherfuckers. Look, look at look who you look. I put my hands up. Look who you talking to. I'm him! This is not a real person. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Get if you haven't seen one, this is called a VTuber. Mm -hmm. It's, for the most part, someone with motion tracking software who operates under the guise of an anime person. Many of them adopt mannerisms to better fit the backstory they made for their character. For mm. example, this one likes referencing carrots because she's a rabbit, or this one who pretends to be bad at basic- Bro, they're looking at Hololive and shit though. You can't just look at the fucking weird VTubers and then collectively just say they all- Well, to be fair, it's a large majority of them. Because a lot of mo motherfuckers look at these VTubers and then they be like, Oh, I should emulate that. For the most- there There's a handful of cool people though, respectfully. ...math because it's cute. There's all sorts of characters and backstories, and nearly all of the most well-known ones are either Japanese or English speaking women i have to give this definition because i've shown what the f where am i at when this video come out two years ago oh we didn't even start vtubing yet maybe that's what it is we, we brought the real in this bitch maybe it was bad back then i don't know and exactly three people <laughs> this in real life and have gotten quote what the fuck is that is this real and do people actually watch this in response all of them left yet <laughs> almost every single one of the top 15 highest earning super chats on youtube are owned by vtubers Look at Giga. He looks like he's about to get his fucking nails clipped at the vet. YouTubers <laughs> everywhere will not stop posting about them. They're clearly popular, so I think it's important to approach this with an open mind. VTubers are not inherently bad. In fact, so many of them are extremely talented and natural-born entertainers that Bags. can captivate an audience of millions without being obsessed with drama or being negative in the slightest. Many of them play instruments, sing, and play games. Okay, I do both. Subscribe to my plus channel. There's a bunch of drama on that motherfucker. These girls are famous for a reason, usually, but... I don't understand the appeal on a personal level. Come on, baby, kiss me. Oh. Kiss me. Kiss me, Mario. My friend who enjoys VTubers watched this clip and was in pure glee. I've only heard this fat bastard rant about two things. <laughs> this clip and some sandwich called the fucking heart clogger that he gets from the grocery <laughs> store. So I knew that this was special. But when I watched that clip, I honestly wanted to rip her hair out and stuff it in my ears and yeah you either love it or hate it bro i'm gonna be honest like when you hear shy lily womp womp i love that shit you feel me when i hear motherfucking womp womp you feel it just does something to my soul so i don't know let's light the ends on fire like a wick i hate vtubers when i see them on screen my heart starts pumping my eyes go bloodshot and i go dizzy why how did these guys blow up under so many people's noses where did they come from? I want to answer these questions because honestly, the video was just going to be a quick rant, but I gradually became fascinated in the plot twists. And I think he wants to be a VTuber and he doesn't want to admit it, bro. And reasons why people enjoy VTubers. So those of you who love them and people who hate them, hold hands as I take you through act one. History time. Hey, hey. Hey. In 2000, Yamaha sound guy Ken Mochi Hideki starts a project called Daisy. Fuck what he talking about. I, this is me. I started this motherfucking Daisy. This is all me. I started VTube and I'm the soldier boy of this shit. Which aims to generate human sounding vocals from text like beep beep boop boop beep. Kind of like Animal Crossing. Thanks to Yamaha, Daisy got promoted and fully fleshed out as Vocaloid, which was released in 2004 and marketed towards professional musician. Z. The problem Stop hating, is, chat. at the time, everyone thought robots professional software this is baby shit nobody cared about it and it was dismissed as just a toy but very slowly over the years vocaloid was being taken more and more seriously uh oh and in 2007 krypton media has an idea they take vocaloid make mascots oh this is where miku came from how to this is where i never listened to anything i didn't even know this was a fucking robot for a while dude at 16 and drop a new sound pack it worked Hatsune Miku was hot. Music artists would make collabs with her Vocaloid pack and animate her moving and shit. This caught on in Japan like crazy. Eventually, she starts selling out actual concerts. Isn't that crazy? She tops out iTunes best selling chart. An unbelievable How? amount of porn is made. But the big oh. takeaway here is that Japan discovered something big. 
Oh, Hatsune Miku is marketable as fuck. Domino's clothing, Funko Pops, hot dogs, or something. It didn't just- It's the branding! That Hatsune Miku could hit iTunes top 10 list a week after making a song. What mattered was that we can completely manufacture a cultural phenomenon, manipulate every part of her persona, and not have to pay them royalties for making merch, commercials, or collaborations. Mm. It's genius. Oh, your influencer got caught doing blackface again this month. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking programmed mine not to do that. Now, does it work 100% of the time? Well, that's a complicated... It's estimated that in 2012, Hatsune Miku acquired a whopping 10 billion yen since her debut, which translates to a whopping $6 USD. Oh, wow. Seeing this, an unknown production crew thought, hey, I could do that, and debuted Kizuna AI in 2016. She mm. very closely resembles the VTubers today, but instead of running the risk of it being a fat, middle-aged Hispanic man, he... <laughs> Yo, he is violating. Kizuna Ai is actually like eight middle-aged fat Hispanic men. She debuted on YouTube in November of 2016 and mostly creates largely scripted and pre-recorded content. Look at her. Those were fucking babies. Which wasn't really our problem with people. Anime is scripted and people certainly love those characters, so it only makes sense that there's an appeal for something like Kizuna to exist. I believe that most people aren't under the impression that this is a real girl with a real personality and, you know, mm -hmm. blah, blah. In fact, she's basically a goddamn puppet. Even her voice actress is completely disposable. I think I read she's got oh, like shit. five substitutes that share her cold metal cage of a body. Jeez. And Japan had done it again. Kizuna was a goddamn hit. She's the cover girl of Cup Noodle. She's been on the TV and news multiple times. Look at that, bro. Honestly, more impressive than all of that, she collaborated with PewDiePie. Enter the third major character, Hololive. Cover Hololive. Which works with reality sees the massive success of Hatsune Miku and Kizuno Ai and says, hey, I could do that. So they did. Sometime in 2017, CoverCorp released a smartphone app called Hololive, which would allow you to view a VTuber live while they stream. This changes things. Yep. It's only one fat guy now. <laughs> Hololive held auditions for extremely talented women, and jokes aside, a lot of them are also very pretty in real life. Now, there may be some coaching involved, but for the most part, these girls have creative control over what they stream, if or not they curse, etc. And Hololive provides them with a rigged up 3D model, an iPhone Titties. X, and a high spec gaming PC. Blah, blah, blah. They're basically a management company for aspiring VTubers. You could be a VTuber. Unless you're a guy, then chances are slim. And if. What the fuck is this guy talking about? you man maybe kind of Motherfuck motherfucker he's sending shots at me and i don't like it bro i know he don't mean it of course this caught on fire and other companies thought hey i could do that so they did but instead of just working in japan nichi sanji went to mr worldwide and spread out mr. In China, worldwide. japan indonesia india and korea so hololife said hey i could do that and then there's a ton of youtubers all over the world oh look it's mary Holy shit, America likes VTubers. Gargara comes flying up in the charts and is the most searched for VTuber in 2020. <laughs> Mori Callop, he comes straight out of nowhere at a tremendous upset. See, if you liked anime at all and watched a VTuber video once thinking, what is this? Surprise, these little fuckers are going to ruin your recommended feed forever. Enjoy. <laughs> so a lot of Americans were already introduced to VTubers, especially since there are channels dedicated to taking funny clips from their streams and translating them just hours after the fact. You have an abundance of binge-worthy content, and now Hololive is making an English branch, coupled with Japan's aging population and business, was booming. Ooh it still is. Japan, America, Indonesia, VTubers have triumphed over what's considered normal to cement themselves as a very real and lucrative industry. September 24th. 2020. Akai Hato goes over her analytics with her audience to see which countries watch her the most. Did you catch that? What? That's okay. Neither did she. Kiryu Koko, who's one of the biggest VTubers in the world, does the same thing the next day. And thus, the two slept as some rich ass bitches. Wait, I don't get it. Someone oh, yeah, this bullshit. Door. What? Are they getting canceled? She replies. The Chinese. Oh no! Both Hato and Coco made the mistake of mentioning Taiwan in their analytics, oh. which China does not officially recognize as an independent country. Chinese viewers were not happy. In fact, they were pissed. And if you don't know, Asian countries go hard as fuck 
with their trolling. Coco and Hato were suspended for three weeks for saying the word Taiwan. Wow. But the viewers were not satisfied. Well, they believed that Akai Hato had made an honest mistake that harlot Kiryu Coco had to pay. Raids, smear videos, multiple VTubers were doxed, anything to get oh, revenge. Oh, damn. They even go so far as to continuously buy YouTube accounts to keep it going. One guy even allegedly dropped his social credit score to zero and ruined his life because he used a VPN. <laughs> this new fact... I'm so sorry. <laughs> do you know how much you have to hate someone to do that shit? Action is called the Antis. Because Hololive has yet to ban Coco, they've developed a vendetta against the company. Mm -hmm. To this day, they're kind of active. You can see them in chat or their Facebook propaganda, which is banned in China, so they gotta be using a VPN to spoof their location to a nearby country. Just saying. Hololive <laughs> then had two options. They can continue expanding in China and allow their new Chinese overlords to permanently ban VTubers on a whim, or leave, which they did. And that's the story of how a single word dissolved the entire Chinese branch of Hololive. What? Didn't really do much though. Yeah, it was on the news and Hero Hey made like 600 videos about it, but VTubers just kind of moved on and oh. are doing better than ever. Hey, yeah, that's Finally, me. The next generation. Remember how we found out VTubing is pretty big here? Well, a bunch of English speaking boys and girls started paying hundreds all the way up to thousands for rigging commissions, avatars, etc. It's now gotten to the point where anyone with a camera can go, hey, I can do that. Oy. Because they literally can. And this is where a lot of cringe comes in for me personally. Act three. Oh no. We've learned the history of VTubers, but now can we get a little bit more personal? Go if ahead, you enjoy personal. them, that's your business, and hopefully you can find what I've been saying so far entertaining. Mm -hmm. But for my boys. I am the greatest treasure hunter the world has ever seen. Look, I personally can't get into that because I personally find it creepy, horrifying, disturbing, and to be honest with you, kind of fucked up in the head. This motherfucker sounds like a Discord mod. He doesn't even sound like he touches grass. Who is he to judge? This I, I don't, I don't like him at all. Oh my god. I actually don't like VTubers. You're playing. What the fuck are you playing, Doom? Fuck you, bitch. The boys that understand. Uh, she's an anime woman just sitting there doing screaming in Japanese and it's scary, all right? <laughs> this is for you, bro. Not really the first guy, though. He was going crazy. I honestly thought I was alone. <laughs> I like this guy, bro. Who made this video? I fuck with him heavy. Kumbulum reviews. I like this guy, dude. ...in despising these... ...trollops. Online, I see overwhelming love for VTubers, and as much as I'm happy for those people, and especially the VTubers themselves, who've earned a spot atop the most well-known streamers around, I still think it's super fun to make fun of them. And I haven't really <laughs> seen a lot of my kind out there, so let me break it down. I do not understand them. People have often used the phrase, cute girls doing cute things to describe why they like certain shows. Mm -hmm. I've always thought of it more as stupid fucking idiots doing dumb shit. I'm fully aware that I'm a weirdo. I've asked mm -hmm. the most manly dudes around to normal, casual friends if they hated this clip as much as me. Oh. 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 <laughs> the fucking pufferfish. And almost all of them. <laughs> why do pufferfish look like me though? <laughs> oh, where's that? <laughs> oh, <look>. oh. <laughs> and almost all of them had no issue with it. Many even said it was cute. On the other hand, I look at that clip and cringe. It makes me uncomfortable and most of all annoyed. Because I feel entertainment is at its best when the line between realism and fiction is distorted. Mm -hmm. I enjoy media that provides a reflection of very real things that we experience, whether it be in dialogue, delivery, or the actions the characters take, and then flip it and do something crazy with the story. As I reflect on my favorite mm -hmm. shows, Almost all of them fit under that description. I thought of this in the shower while I was washing my balls and threw in the script, so it might not be that airtight yet. But I've noticed that anime can frequently put up a barrier between that realism and the characters they portray. Mm -hmm. There's certain formulas and tropes that authors feel they have to play into to appeal to certain audiences. In weaker shows, the main character will be some whiny bitch boy that is in love with justice, to which he's rewarded with a slew of girls that are attracted to his righteousness. Mm -hmm. Does that happen in real life? Not really, but as a kid, I used to imagine that's what would happen to me, and I really enjoyed shows like that. That's why this character type exists. Female archetypes like tsundere's, yandere's, etc. that you would hate to interact with are mm -hmm. popular because author knows that works. Fuck what he talking about. I would love to interact with a yandere. I want that bitch to cut my dick off and put it in her purse so I can't leave her. For whatever reason. Even in good shows, you'll have characters which are basically downloaded from a list of personality types instead of being a product of reality. So to me, the less that characters act Ooh. like anime characters, 
the better they are, yeah. with exceptions. Cute anime girls annoy the shit out of me because it's not genuine. I've spoken to at least mm. a thousand women at this point and never met someone who genuinely speaks and acts like this. He doesn't like that fake bullshit, which is fine. You know what I mean? You don't need a 20 minute fucking YouTube video to say it. I, you, you just don't connect with it. I don't watch VTubers mostly just because I feel like the same way. Like, I feel like I can't connect to the person behind it. That's why I fuck with like Dashy, Berlizzi. Like, I got my, my group of people that I watch. You feel me? And VTube is not for everybody. Not even for me, to be honest. I fuck with VTubing purely off of its solid branding, bro. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. When you look at a VTube model and you're like, oh, that's that person. And then you click on their shit and it's just a bunch of other shit that just, it's meh. It's easy, bro. It's so solid. And I feel like branding is probably the hardest thing to do as a streamer. And VTubing makes it just easy. <laughs> Maybe you have, but when I see it, I imagine some dude who's completely estranged from the youth writing his fifth yeah. knowing that's what's hot right now. <laughs> Why that remind me of VTuber? <laughs> Why the fuck? Yo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> knowing that's what's hot right now. Am I overthinking things? Yes, but I'm putting words into a feeling that's been sitting in my belly for years. So when you take this and make a real person act like they're that, it doubles the cringe factor. I don't want to see a person pretending to be a thing, pretending to be another thing that doesn't exist and never has. Mm. So that's why it irritates me so much when I see a VTuber going, ah, oh, 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 I like this is such a good video. I like this motherfucker, bro. It's uncanny, uncomfortable, and not genuine to me. Even though blah blah blah, that's not the point. They're supposed to adopt the persona. It's how I feel, dude. There ain't much I can do to change it. Let's examine Elsa the is valid. types. Baby talk. <laughs> oh no. This is pretty much ubiquitous in the VTuber community, and also the one that makes me the most mad. Japanese VTubers will talk like this. Oh no. He's making valid points. <laughs> <laughs> American VTubers would talk like this. Out there. Oh, oh, oh we can let the bees die. Hi, Sensei. How are you? Oh, here comes the airplane. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, no, I'm playing Stinky Winky. My diaper. Ho oh, ho. Change me, please. I like to imagine there's a bald white guy in a big ass pull up behind the monitor. That makes me laugh the most. I'm sure it's a very pretty adult woman on the other end. Don't get upset. Now, quick quiz. <laughs> are we watching the season finale of Teletubbies or Twitch? Ding, ding. <laughs> he not putting no yo put shizzy in this motherfucker put me in this motherfucker like he not putting real motherfuckers in here that's not fair bro to be fair there's a there's a again a huge variety of vtubers wow. this is why i honestly feel like vtubing might be a nerf for me i'm not gonna lie to you because it's like when someone comes to my channel i mean I, look how i look right now bro <laughs> it kind of explains me hold on but when they come to my channel and see my other model, bro, you feel me? I feel like they expect a different type of, uh, I don't know, personality. Like, you don't expect me to be like, suck my dick from the back, pussy, fight me. You know what I mean? I see you at Twitch. You don't really expect that from this. You expect like, hey, oh my God, hey. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, Ooh, this is real? Is this real? <laughs> I need you to tell me honestly if this is something you picture me watching. I believe this comes directly from the cute anime girl phenomenon that I just got talking about, so obviously it's not my thing. English. A lot of fellows think it's cute to see VTubers learn English. At times, alright, it is kind of cute. Aww, it is! Once they discovered Netflix. a good amount of their audience was English speaking, VTubers began learning and communicating with a whole new side <clears> of their audience. Sometimes good. <laughs> sometimes bad. <laughs> I remember this shit on TikTok. And funny most of the time. I think this is what hooked them up. Yo, what's really crazy to me is no one batted an eye. Not a single soul gave a fuck. If you're an anime girl with a high pitched voice, you could get away with anything, bro. And funny most of the time. I think this is what hooked a lot of casual audience members. Of all the clips I've seen in research, a strong amount of them contained English, which is just English with a heavy Japanese accent. English. Weeaboos. On Weeaboo. the flip side, we have Becca's, Hannah's, and Olivia's that have mastered the Japanese tongue. Body pillow as well. 
What? I feel like an old man. I know this type of thing is supposed to be cute, but I don't get why. You also get sporadic, random Japanese words to really seal the deal. Like they make a mistake and go, Come here, sir. A favorite of mine is this ara ara shit. What? It gets weeb boys all flustered, so there's a song and dance of VTubers pretending like they don't want to do it, and then just going hard as fuck as soon as they commit. Oh, oh, Nani! You guys want me to say it? Fine. Ooh. Like, dude. You clearly wanted to do that. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm a little weeb. And I, when, again, when Shy Lily hit a little womp womp, bro, it makes me feel happy inside. The fucking, ex I cannot explain the feeling. The little womp womp, bro, it gets me. Now you've soured my mood, and frankly, matter of fact, hold on. I know I'm watching this, okay? And it might seem cringe, but it makes me happy. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in myself. You clearly wanted to do that. Now you've soured my mood, and frankly, I don't want to finish these nuggies. Normals. During my research, I found a few chicks talking in their normal voice, chilling with a VTuber avatar. I thought, uh, this is an actual person speaking to me right now, which threw me off after listening to high-pitched squeals all day pretty chill which goes to show you can't really throw a blanket statement on all VTubers. thank you now let's go back to throwing blankets on vtubers mutes <laughs> there are vtubers that stand there and stand there <laughs> this motherfucker is funny bro and stand there all right oh they were now that's typing the whole time mm. this one uses text to speech or speech zentrea sit menacingly while i know i personally can't appreciate the other types of vtubers and that's clearly on me what is going on here? I genuinely want to know because I can't even generate a theory. Please comment. This channel is like a creepypasta. It's extremely uncanny to my gaijin eyes. Let me put you down for some fucking reason. Okay, okay, I gotta stand up. Zentreya is another insane <laughs> case because she's actually humongous. Not just the tits, but she's raised forty two thousand dollars in five hours before. Just vibing, typing, taking hell along between responses. These two have been able to achieve a high level of success that I think anyone would be it's a talent, of bro. completely breaking the mold in an already outlandish market. That is commendable. Yet behind our backs, who could have predicted the dark secret lurking behind the scenes? Oh, uh no! No! They got you! Ah! Oh, no! Everyone predicted that. Oh. This is Nora Cat. You might have seen this clip floating around. Their popularity plummeted after this incident, but like, what did you expect? A hot lady? You expected a hot lady with boobs to be using a fucking text-to-speech voice. <laughs> the only people I know who do that is Reddit. It's pretty messed up that the dude isn't doing so great now. He seems like a chill guy, so if you're ever in the States, we can smoke or something and talk about the VTuber industry. Damn. That's not a conversation I want to have sober. So that's the mutes. Revolutionary in their own way, confusing in mind. Now, you can't have VTubers without an audience, right? Casuals. Normal people. Oh, they talk about you, people. chat! They talk about you! Normal people. There are tons of people attracted to the idea of cute girls saying and doing ridiculous shit. Some clips even had me thinking, okay, that was kind of cute. Yubi, yubi. I assume these are one of the most popular viewers on YouTube, but I have no idea. Simps. Simps. I, I don't really need to explain this one. Oh. 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 Obviously, there's a good amount of people that want to bang these things, which brings in a fair amount of viewers. <laughs> Actually, remember when Project Melody came out on Chatterbait and broke all sorts of records and everyone was salty? Yeah, there's a market for this. Of course, the girls are aware, so they'll make allusions to sexual acts as the chat pogs incessantly. Tight. Like a field mouse. Oh. <laughs> which is also like half the VTuber recommendations I get. For the record, I would do the exact same thing. Absolutely. If I were female, my butthole would look like the inside of a box of Ponky, which is far worse than moaning into the mic. <laughs> I 
I just think it's funny. When you work out, what noise do you make? Usually like or what? You don't go. There's people that come for that. You can't chat. You can't. You can't hate the play, bro. Hate the game. You feel me? There's a market for it, bro. What? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. If I was, listen, if I was a girl, I'm flat out. I would be making an OnlyFans. I'm putting my booty hole on the timeline, bro. I'm making my bank. And then after I'm old enough, no, not old enough, old, like I'm I'm like ran through, you feel me? Like, I was like, damn, like whatever. You kind of old news, girl. You feel me? You 37, pack it up. I'll be like, I bet. And then I'm going to VTube shit. And then I'm spreading my asshole in, in the anime. I'm spreading my anime asshole. I'm gonna be honest with you. But I think horny boys make up a pretty good chunk of the fan base. We a boost. If I enjoyed pure, innocent, fake women, VTubers would be awesome. Let's say I like a slice of life show with a bunch of little girls. Why would I not want to watch a person in real life who embodies a ton of these characteristics react to stuff live? Those fictional characters that are so out of reach for us are suddenly something you can connect and interact with. I think this is a very unique relationship and can see why people graduate fuck gravitate towards vtubers there's also dudes that love that ara, ara, chotomato, chotomato shit the last 72 hours that's me there's also dudes that love that ara, ara, the fuck do you expect i'm an anime person online bro go fuck yourself chotomato, chotomato shit the last 72 hours of my life has been dedicated to uh researching these guys so i've honestly been on a roller coaster of emotion initially i despise them in the middle i despise them and in the end I despise them. <laughs> but during all that, I never stopped thinking, yeah, that's on me. I'm never gonna be in the loop and I'm cool with that. VTubers are gonna be here for a long time, whether we like it or not, and they have a brilliant future full of boundless possibilities. Still gonna make fun of my friends for watching that baby shit. <laughs> but most importantly, I've learned that if you can't beat them, you gotta get better than them. It's Wanko time, fuckers. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! With my new avatar, Wanko. I know it's very disrespectful for big YouTubers to hop on the VTuber trend because it's a very niche and not well known market. I, I mean, I thought it was so weird when people like got mad at that. I'll be completely honest. I thought it was so fucking weird. But then they'll go support like companies that just pump out fucking models every fucking month. You feel me? How the fuck does that make sense? But I, I hope you guys can forgive me. Subscribe. I talk about anime and comment. I reply to those. I'm sure this comment section Fire, is going to be real fun. But did I mention to forget that Wenka will debut the arrival of our newest sponsor, NordPass. All right. There's a free version, so listen. And we're done with your that. Your password is definitely the same on your Facebook. You All right. That was a good video, bro. I'm not going to lie. I like him. Solid vid.